This your boy Big Creep. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. A DJ C Chaos. On IndioRadio.com. What's poppin', what's poppin', what's poppin', Chaotic Vibes Podcast, DJ C Chaos, special guest in the mother's fucking building. Rennie, how you doing, baby? I'm good, how you, you good? doing? Yeah, I'm Introduce good. yourself, man, we got Rennie Rucci in this motherfucker. What's up, everybody, it's your girl, Rennie Rucci, a.k.a. Big Rennie. Ooh, Big Rennie. Yeah, I gotta put that stamp on it. Okay, <laughs> Big Rennie, why we, why we Big Rennie? Everything I do big, I'm like, you know, you go Big ass chain, I big feel you. Big chain, big music, big shit, talking no. all that. <laughs> I ain't mad at that. Let them know where you from, because there's a lot of there's a lot of people out here false claiming your hood. No, I'm okay. from Columbia, South okay. Carolina. Okay, because they told me you was from up top. They yeah. told me you were from the city. So I got excited because I was like, oh, somebody from the city. I visit there a lot, but I'm not from there. Okay. So you're a country I'm girl. I'm from the country, yeah. Oh, okay. You can hear it. That was the first time. <laughs> that was the first time you said something. I was like, okay, you're really from the country. Like, even talking before this, I was like, nah, you can't be from the country. It's just certain things. Yeah. You hear? Do you pra- is that something you practice? Um, I would say to I practice. practice it. I try to work on, like, you know, enunciation and stuff I try like to that. practice because, like, if they say, oh, you from New York, you automatically, like, a dickhead and you rude. <laughs> so I be trying to, like, hello, hurry. I be trying. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't say I go that extreme with it. But I do try to, like, sound mm-hmm. or speak where it's understandable. Because, you know, sometimes people can't understand. That motherfucker that just left? <laughs> I don't know what he be talking yeah, about. Yeah, you can't. People him can't every understand day. what you're saying, so you have to work on that. So it's- Big Rennie in the motherfucking city, working hard. You everywhere. Yeah. We've been talking about you for months. For real? But if you don't know. That's good. I didn't know. Yeah, that's hard, though. Uh, y'all got a lot more months to keep talking about <laughs> me. I'm going to give y'all a lot more to talk about. So so, so, how does it feel? Like, uh, is it is it as quick as it seems? It looks like it looks like out of the blue you jumped on the scene. I don't think and it so. Was... And it's never as quick as it seems to the outside because, that's you know, they wasn't re- nobody that's really pay attention while you're doing the work. So, how long? How long what? Did it take you to get here? To get to the point where, you know, Joe Budden shouting you out to you on the road. You know, I honestly, I feel like I haven't got to a point yet to say how long it's taken. Because, you know, stuff like that has it's happened organically. I don't feel like it's happened off of, like, I did that with the intention, looking for, you I mean, know, you working did, towards it. Because we still haven't reached where we want to reach no, it. No, no, and I feel like, because I, I talk about shit like that all the time. People always say, oh, you're successful. And it's like, well, nigga, I ain't did shit. Right, you know right. What I'm but at the same point, you have to realize, and somebody just told me this last night, you have to realize that notoriety, like, that's not Take just. Take you a long it, way. Yeah, that's it's, just it not is. just. Joe Blow. No, even with that cosign right there, like just him saying it, like yeah. he's so hard on like yeah. oh, everybody, so especially just, new artists. But boy. him to say like not once but twice, yeah. like that was like oh yeah, I'm doing the right thing for how real. How did you how did you feel when you heard it? Well, first I didn't hear. I woke up to like all these different text messages, like mm-hmm. oh Joe Budden just shouted you out. Yeah. Uh, so I went and listened to it, and then like when I listened to it, I was like you know what. If you ever thought you needed to stop or this wasn't for you before, like, yeah. and I never thought that, but you yeah, know, like yeah. sometimes you, it's the hard days where you feel like, why, like you looking around at the game and everybody else who in the game playing, like, yeah. why, feeling like you on the bench. Yeah. So that was like the, you know, the gas you need to keep going. Be real. You fuck with Joe Bunny before he said that? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Be real. I, for real. He had this one song that came out a long time ago. And pump, I think. Pump it up. No, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, no. that's not the song. I can't remember the name of it, but it always stick with me because yeah, in the song, he was like, uh, he was talking about a girl. Mm-hmm. Like, I guess they was breaking up, but it was like ball player at the ball player. You out mm-hmm. here having a ball player. And I was mm-hmm. like, uh, that's why. Like, ever since then, like, I listened to his music. Yeah. Like, that was okay. a long time ago. You're like one in one five thousand or some shit. He's really <laughs> lyrical. No, he is. He's like, no bullshit. Like, he's. he's he was supposed to do something, but you know how the game go. Mm-hmm. But outside of that, like, what is like the early inspiration? Like, how did we get this? How did we get to Big Rennie? Like, what 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 happened for um, you to even want to write or? Well, I've write? always written. I've always wrote. Like my whole life, I've mm-hmm. been into poetry or journalism, whatever it was. Okay. Um, actually, getting into the music, mm-hmm. uh, I just kept being presented with the opportunity. And, uh, you know, the, like the third time came around and I had the money to do it. I had mm-hmm. the time to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, my kids were older, so I didn't have to be home as much. Okay. And it just worked out. Like, 
and it was the third time. So it's like, you, it's, it keep falling in your yeah. lap. Like, most people go running for the opportunities that's just coming to you. So most definitely. you should do it. Like, So you got kids. How many kids you got? Two. How I have a son feel, and a daughter. How does it feel to be a mother in the, in the rap industry? Like, the is, there things, is there things you have to, like, I guess, hide from them? Like, oh, mommy, no. you don't want to see mommy do that? No? I don't, I don't hide nothing from my kids because the world we live in, True nothing is hid from enough. them. Like, True whether enough. I show it to them or not, like, they can get on YouTube or anywhere Facts. else and see it. So, Facts. I rather, like, I, I have the kind of relationship with my kids where we discuss everything. If you have a question, come ask me about it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sugarcoating anything for you. Mm -hmm. But I feel like... I'm giving them the tools that they need to maneuver through life properly. If, if I shelter you and hide these things from you, when you finally get introduced to them, you're not going to know what to do. So, now nah, my kids, like... <laughs> they with the shits. Yeah, and they know the difference. Like, they know, like, I'm an adult. Like, okay. And they're kids. So, even if you do see it, and even if your mama is the one doing it, like, mm -hmm. it's a difference. Do as I say and not, not as, as I, I do. do. I ain't mad at that. I remember my grandmother told me that. <laughs> I ain't understand that shit till I got older. Older, right? Yeah, that's real. That's super real. So, like, that's, like, to me, like, that's always dope. Just one, and I ho I hate to, like, put it on a, on a pedestal, but, like, when a woman is in rap and, like, successful, that's dope because of all the shit y'all got to go Way through to harder. get there. You know what I'm saying? It is. And, and even from my standpoint, I, I, even as a DJ, we make it harder because... I was just saying this last night, like, I work in a strip club. All the strip club girls got songs now. Like, that's like the wave. Like, oh, I'm, I'm out of here. I used to dance. I we know how the strip club in, we, We're going to get into that. I didn't know you used to. Okay, Benny, big Benny. <laughs> nah, so, like, I was saying, like, damn, like, every girl wants you to be like, hey, play my song. Hey, play my song. And you'd be like, all right, now nah, I'm tired of this shit. Like, we didn't, we didn't have an all-girl night, goddammit. I'm tired <laughs> of hearing this shit. You know what I'm saying? So, even as a DJ, you know, um, it... it I, we make it hard on y'all, too. So I, I definitely understand, and I definitely salute that. But um, dancing. Yeah. Okay. How you know? I danced I for, like, three years. How was that? Um, I did what I do anytime I do something. Whether it's looked at as the right thing to do or not, I'm going to make the best of it. Most definitely. So, you know, I started dancing. Uh, In South Carolina? Mm-hmm. What is the strip club scene like that out there for y'all? Because there's a lot of I girls. I feel like it's a sweet lick. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of girls leave here to and go to go South there. Carolina. One, you can't get naked there. You can't get naked there, but that fucks up my whole set. Yeah, but you're from a place where girls get naked. I'm not. Think I'm from, about, I'm from New York. Where all right, don't you've been get to Atlanta no, I DJ out here. Right, so you know you know yeah. what's oh, up yeah. for real. City swinging, we pussy about, breathing. We're you understand? We're talking about South Carolina, where most of the people going to the clubs there have not been outside of South Carolina yet. Mm. So they're used to being in the club and girls not getting naked. Mm -hmm. It's they're not expecting you to show nothing. Mm -hmm. It's against the law. Like they already know that. <laughs> so. It's a sweet lick. Like, okay. I could be in the club all night long, get on stage one time, and make me, like, three, $4,000 and not have to show a titty. Like, That's whack. That's dope. It's cool. It's a hustle. It's cool. I dig it. If, from a female's perspective, that's the shit. That's yeah, whack. like, I, I would never come to Atlanta and dance when I was dancing. That was whack. I'll come go to the club. You go I, to the club. Yeah, I think I danced out here, like, maybe twice. But it was, Where? like, I danced at Blue Flame. Oh yeah, you twice went to, you went to the spin night too. Twice it was me and um me and a girl named Mazani were really good friends and we used to do pole tricks and stuff together. So yeah. we used to get booked for like polling mm. and stuff or whatever because I was really like that's I used to get booked for that. Yeah. Like, so that's the only two times I came to Atlanta to dance. That's like, crazy, and you know like Atlanta is considered like the strip club capital. Like we I got think, the most clubs in one city yeah, do, for but sure. I think like I think. That's just be from the outside looking in. Because when you are a part of the the world, you know, the dance world or being mm -hmm. a dancer or a DJ or whatever, you know, like, the way it looks on the outside is not it's how it really not. is. It's definitely not. So, on the outside, the customers and everybody are thinking, oh, my God, these girls are making so much money and it's so this and it's so that. When, you know, they probably had to bust that down ten ways Seven. or what. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, I could stay right over here in this little corner right here with these three states over here yeah. and not have to bust nothing down. Everything yeah. I make is mine. I don't mm -hmm. have to show. Like, it's a lick. So, so for girls who are, especially because it's just because you said that, for the girls looking to get into the world, what would it be like? I don't encourage nobody to get into dancing. What? 
But if you already dancing and you want pointers on how to make money, yeah. I, you know, I would do that. But I, I never encourage nobody to go into that because when you enter that, you you don't know what you're getting yourself into. Like you don't fact. know how, how life-changing dancing is That's or being fact. in the club is. Um, so I would never encourage anybody to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and, like, and I'm gonna, just going to say, like, if you do or if that is what you guys are looking to do, like, just make sure you have a strong mind. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I just told somebody, I was like, that shit will fuck you. It'll fuck you one way or the other. Yeah, I see Even a lot a of girls who come in there with, like, a goal, like, oh, I'm just doing this to pay this, or I need, I, like, I'm just in a bind right now, and the next thing you know, they're going to quit their job. They, like... <laughs> what other way do you know you can make $3,000 a week? Well, there is no other way. <laughs> no, really. I'm not going to say there's not another fast way. Fast money, we talking but, about fast, yeah, money. fast money. Nah, that if shit we different. talk about, if you need that, like, cash in hand right mm -hmm. there and no, all like that's the reality of it that shit is a drug you either gonna dance or you're gonna be walking around like a dancer serving drinks because it's no difference yeah i'm glad you said that except in atlanta because somebody got to get naked somebody got to get naked yeah somebody has to get naked out here that shit is crazy i we went to uh we went to alabama shout out to alabama um and like I DJ every night in the strip club, so my when I walk in the door, everybody get butt naked. That's just my shit. And the manager was like, "We don't get butt naked." We can't do that It's like, excuse me, you don't get naked. We out of here. Let's go. Get you know where you was at? <laughs> I was like, man, God damn. But nah, that's that's real life. So so what has been the biggest, I guess, transition from out the club, but you still got to be in the club with the music yeah but i don't i don't think it i don't think i've transitioned yet because it's still the same like when i when i stopped dancing i didn't stop dancing on my own i stopped mm -hmm. dancing because i was still in the club every night i was just yeah. in the club every night rapping yeah. like i was just getting booked for rapping i never had a free night to go to work okay. like that, that kind of work anyway because in yeah. perspective i'm working yeah that's real um but it didn't feel like work yet because i was used to dancing mm -hmm. so um I want to say, like, when I started, it was like a good three months went by, and I was just booked for rapping, 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 and I finally had a free night. Like, I could go to, it was a Saturday night, so it was mm -hmm. like a big party. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to dance tonight. <laughs> and then I sat back and I thought about it, and I was like, hold on. I'm going to look crazy if I walk in somebody's club That's tonight talking fact. about paying tip out. That's a like, fucking no, fact. Like, oh, I'm not even that no more. So it was like the transition happened without me even realizing what was going on until that point right there yeah. where I really had to say, I really just paid the dance bag. Like, yeah. I'm finna go pay tip out when these people just paid me to perform the same thing that I can make in a set. So. Yeah. That was the biggest one. Like, it was it hard? Like, it was yeah, like, did you like, want to dance? It wasn't that I, I'm not gonna say it was that I wanted to. It's that what that's what I was used to. Okay. Um. Even though I was making like the same money, of, like rapping or whatever, it was just, it just didn't feel like work yet. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was doing what I was supposed to be doing. Facts. Not as far as like a job, but as far as like taking care of my home. I didn't feel like I, I kept feeling like I'm missing work. I'm missing work because in my head the yeah. club was work. Yeah. Like dancing was work. Mm -hmm. So realizing that was like the hardest and biggest transition because it was like some nights when I'm not booked to, to rap, like I'm just supposed to sit here and not make no money. <laughs> like I can't go to the club no more. Like I, you know, that was the hard, like learning to stay home. Yeah. You're not a stripper no more. You're an artist. Like, if, and that like, I think a lot of girls who try to get into like music, that's something that they don't understand. Mm -hmm. You can't do both. It's like the drug game. Like, you can't do both. It, we're women already, so they, like, in the music industry, we aren't taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. But you can't say, I'm an artist today, and then I'm a stripper tomorrow. Like, you're really not going to be taken serious. So, like, that was this transition and sacrifice that I felt you can't be a part of both industries. Mm -hmm. You got to pick what you want to do. That, and that's crazy that you say that, though, because, like, like one, you see it is it's out here. Ever since, I'm not going to say ever since Cardi, but... When Cardi did it, it was kind of like, oh, it's about to happen. Well, I, I want to say, because she wasn't the first. We I'm all know saying, that. No, we all first. know that. But I think the difference is, back then, it was taboo to speak about it. It was, like, not something glorified. Yeah. Girls wasn't even dancing by their real names or names that they was called in public. You yeah. know, now you got a girl on Instagram, and it is her stripper name. So it's it's like it's like 
publicly glorified now. So yeah. that's I feel like that's what made it seem as if she was the first one to do it. Yeah. Just because the other ladies before her, it wasn't something to talk about. It yeah. wasn't something to brag about. It wasn't something that you let people know exactly. you were doing, even outside of doing music. Like, yeah. you wasn't waking up in the morning, like, telling everybody, I'm going to strip club tonight. Like, Meet me at the Yeah, spot. and that's, like, <laughs> it's just the the diff- the times that have changed. Yeah. So it seemed like she was the first one, but no. But it's like, it's like so right now, like, there's even, like I said, like, I, I know for a fact in all my clubs, I got at least 20 girls that dance and rap. Do a show on Sunday, but they shaking ass on Monday. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how do you, how would you tell them, like, look, Shuddy, one or the other? Because that's livelihood we're talking about. I'm, that's how, right there. Like, do you want them to take you serious here or there? No, like, say you go see, you go to a show and she's on a big stage with, like, Big name artist and yeah. she opening up. Then the next night you go and she butt naked in front of you. Whatever respect you did have for her as an artist, like you kind of lose that because it's like, I mean, I knew you came from that. I didn't know you were still yeah. in that. Like you don't have to be you here. Yeah. Carry yourself like you here. Definitely. Not like you still there. Yeah. You. No, I, I that's you. that's my take on it. No, like, I and you. I I can have that take on it because I I came like you did it. I had to live that. Yeah. So. I had to put that in perspective for myself. That's just what I think. And since I did that, like the day I stopped dancing and decided not to go back to the club, my music, like I'm respected as an artist now. Do you still get like regulars who see you around like, hey, whatever your dance name was? No. No. It's like, <laughs> I, honestly, it's like, like people forgot I danced or something. Okay. It's been that long? I I don't even think it's been that long. Like yeah. to say it like that, I just, I just think it's like I push my music so much now and I'm so focused on like that that's and that's the only thing know, I promote. Yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. they don't even, I feel it. I might throw a line in a song about it or something yeah. and they remember like, oh yeah, she used to fuck it up or whatever. Like, <laughs> but it's now it's like my music. Yeah. Like, I think like that's what I cater to. That's what I speak to. So that's, mm-hmm. that's, they follow me with it. Okay. So just a little, uh, I guess shifting gears getting back to on some music shit like how do you feel the state of hip-hop is for women right now i I think it's like the best it's been in a long time it's definitely the best (laughs) it's been in a very long very long it's almost like it's almost like the floodgates are open it's like you're a woman you rap let's go let me see what you're gonna talk about (laughs) you know what i'm saying which is good and bad most definitely because they letting it's pros and cons to everything i'm gonna be real they letting it's bullshit but you know the strong will stay around. Most definitely. So it's good. So if so, you're really meant to be in it, like you're gonna like at the end of it, because it ain't gonna last forever. Mm-hmm. Like we all know that. Like yeah. it's just a phase. Most definitely. At the end of the phase, like whoever's supposed to still be around is gonna be around. So so what do you think the hardest thing about at least getting in the door is right now, especially as as a female? Just getting people to take you serious. Yeah. That's the hardest part. Like just because there's so much cap shit going on with girls, <laughs> like. It's so much, I'm a rapper, and, like, even the dancing, or even if it's not dancing, Instagram modeling, trying to rap, and, like, I'm not knocking nobody who do it. I'm just saying, like, it's so much of that. Like, when people see a female artist, they automatically go, there's some bullshit. Like, she just, she following Cardi, or she wouldn't, like, you know, like, that's what, that's the dialogue that goes on behind female artists right now, so. Either that or she not cute enough to be in the game, or. She got a body done. She ain't real. Mm, that's a big one. Like yeah, yeah. Cause they like that's they act like this just started. <laughs> <laughs> like all like surgery just started out. Yeah. I don't know what's up with that, but anyway, that's the hardest part. Just like letting people know like you're for real. Like mm. you all can take me serious. So how you feel about uh, so you you really can speak to uh, Jermaine Dupri's comments. Yeah, I mean, everybody's like entitled to their opinion. No, it, I, it didn't touch me because, yeah. you know, if we flip it on to the males, every song you put on talk about the same thing. So unless you're listening to some J. Cole or some Kendrick or every everybody talks about the same thing. So you don't like it because it's females doing it? Don't listen to it. That's a fact. But how does it feel like that's a big dog? Like that's a, like Jermaine Dupri. Like whether we whether he's relevant today, 
Like, that's a big dog in the industry. Yeah, he is a big dog in the industry. And he, you know, hats off to him and everything he's done. But, you know, it's a new generation around. It's, I don't it's, think I've ever seen him with a, a female artist other than the brat. The brat. And, and she's I don't dope. Think she, I don't think she was talking about fucking. I we hope she was talking about fucking. <laughs> um, she, like, his comments are just his opinions. It didn't move me in no type of way to change my lyrics or yeah. not rap about you woke my up saying body fuck, fuck, or uh, Jermaine Dupree. No. Nah. Okay. Stuff like that is what make people come listen to our music. True enough. True fucking enough. So somebody else need to go talk some more tomorrow. Like, <laughs> somebody need to wake up and say something yeah, crazy. Yeah, tomorrow. because really, like this when it's thing opinions being stated like that, people want to go see what he's talking about. Yeah. Like whether it's good or bad, like people want to go know what's being talked about. Okay. That's how you gain your listeners. That's a fact. That's a big dog fact. So I want to get into um, fuck 'em up, sis. That's mm -hmm. what I want to talk about. Let me know a little bit about the record before we drop it. Um, that song is really like just what the title is, fuck 'em up. Like mm -hmm. when you step in the building, I, I don't care where you step into. If you're dropping your kids off at school, if you in Walmart grocery shopping, whatever, like fuck 'em up. Like yeah. don't like because everybody nowadays like want to have something to say about whoever. That's a fact. Fuck all that. Like, just, when you step out, step out. Fuck them up every time. Every, every time, just time. fuck them up. I ain't mad at that. Introduce the track. What's up? This is Rennie, and you are about to hear my single, Fuck Em Up, Sis. <laughs> NDORadio.com. Yes, yes, yes. You already know what time it is. Fuck Em Up, Sis. Big Rennie. I ain't calling you Rennie, you know, I'm calling you Big Rennie. Big Rennie in the motherfucking building. So, so fuck him up, sis. The, Every you don't time. care about inches. The, what did it say? You don't care about inches. The, the bank, bank account. account long like nine Ooh, digits. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Talking that shit, Big Rennie. I'm, really, that's what every female think. Speak on it. I mean, that's what, what? You you see it, you read the Instagram captions, you you hear the you know, the lyrics and other songs. That's like a fact. that's I what just... that's what every female every woman riding that car right now or in the store, in the mall, if a if a man walk up to them and they feel like he got money, they going every time. Every time. Every time. <laughs> they going. <laughs> she like, going. So it's it's when I when I'm rapping, I'm saying the things but Women want to say, but mm -hmm. they not going to say it because they don't want to be judged by it. So, like, like, because I was just saying this last night. I was like, the songs will make you feel like, like, if I go buy the new Gucci, I'm going to get some pussy. Like, y'all need to get a deal with these designers. Right, right. A nigga going to go get what I got to go For get real. to get some, you know what I'm saying? To, to look the part. That's crazy. So, I fellas, mean, I, get but your I bag will up. say this, you know, sometimes, ladies, y'all need to do a little more research. Facts. <laughs> before the you, before you just so be going, especially out here, before you just be going, you need to you need the to do a background check. The cap is real. My nigga say, For let real. me hey, let me hold your let me hold your Gucci belt, my nigga. <laughs> I'm about to go get some pussy. <laughs> That's a fact. Big Rennie putting y'all niggas on game in this motherfucker. Stop playing. So, so Rennie, let's 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 take it back a little bit. Like, I want to know what's some early musical inspiration for you. Um, well, we were just talking about this the other day. My mom used to listen. My mom not really into rap music. Okay. At all. But when Eve came out, Ooh. that was the only woman she listened to. Mm -hmm. Like, and she listened to her so much. Like. I'm young, like I'm still. I probably just like elementary school, yeah, like yeah. middle school maybe. My mom used to listen to anything she put out, like rotation all day long. If it was streaming back then, like he would have <laughs> made so much money off my mama. Like, Facts. but then you know, after you listen to it, for, it's always on. Like you have to pay attention to what's being yeah, said. Definitely. And she was talking like, she boss. like. Damn, a boss. She was saying more than what the niggas was saying. Like, no, I said she had balls. Like she, had balls, she sure. was. Popping shit like you wouldn't even expect a woman to say, and that right there was like, oh, okay, like. I think you're the first person I ever heard shout Eve out on some real shit. Like it's, you know, it's always, uh, you know, Kim or Nikki. Eve, Eve is real though. Eve is super real. Eve and uh, Missy to me. Are super Missy real. definitely, cause Missy. she's a whole different type of vibe. Like, yeah. like. 
Is there room in the game for another Missy right now? Yeah, I definitely believe so. Honestly. I definitely believe so. Who, like... I think her closest, her closest replication would be like a, a rap city, and my Tierra Wack, yeah, Tierra Wack, something like that. But she's dope too. Yeah, that's super. Like, if if we can get, if it's room, I I just if it's room for, like I said, the Kendricks and the Coles and everything yeah. on the male side. Why isn't it room for that on the female side? That's a fact. That's like a we fact. have those type of listeners. Like women want to hear that kind of stuff too. I mean, so, niggas want to hear that. Yeah, yeah, lie. and for it to come from a woman is even like, dope, like way doper. I just, I, I think like niggas want to hear it, but like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I'm, I can't roll my windows down and blast some yeah, Cardi B. Yeah, because that ain't the... like, that's, that's <laughs> different. You know what I'm saying? Like, I fuck with it. I might roll the windows up and blast it, but I can't just like. I ain't gonna lie. The other day, I was riding down Candler Road. I don't know if you know that's just the East Side. And a nigga was like blasting Beyonce. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm listening to the song. I know the song word for word. But everybody looking at that nigga like, whoa. But like, why though? Is it just because she a woman? I don't know. I just, I don't think, I don't think I'm riding down the street listening to one plus one. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but even or, if it wasn't or, one plus one, if it was Bartier Cardi, will you ride I'm fucking down with that though. Are you going to let your windows down and blast On it? On 21 verse. Right, because she's a woman. See, but it's not can even, we it's take not even, the gender roles off of even, it and just respect people's woman. artistry? It's, just, it's like sometimes, sometimes women say some crazy shit, like some very plausible. But I'm saying it's very plausible and for you a nigga to be rapping that shit. It. You ain't gotta rap it, but you ain't gotta not play it. I, I'm not saying I'm not playing. I'ma play it. Y'all say the same thing. A woman will ride down the street with her windows down, blasting some of the most disrespectful. But see, I just, I can't. I don't. I'd be confused. Right, listen. I turn to the Left and shorty listening to I got a 40 with a dick on it. Whoa, baby, you too gangster. What's <laughs> up? What you got going on? You know what I'm saying? Well, I think I think that's something that we as women can do that you like sometimes men can't do as listeners. Like we we can take the gender out of it. Like it doesn't yeah. like we can rap what a man is saying and not feel like it's wrong. Like for example, I say this all the time, Jabbar probably can attest to it. Anytime I play City Girls act up, every nigga in the club. Uh-huh. That's his shit. Yeah. But if you pull up next to me and I'm over there, what is it? Real last bitch, give, give a, a fuck. fuck like, you're going to be like, hold on, bro. Like, relax. I, I mean, pause. I think because I'm an artist, I wouldn't. But I guess if I was like a regular that shit kind of person I be, riding I, Sometimes I got to stop the music. Like, y'all niggas is into this way too much. Y'all <laughs> niggas got to fight down. <laughs> so you the reason they won't ride blasting it down the street. <laughs> no, they do it, though. They remembering you saying in the club. Hey, they man. was too into it. They just That's just too much for me. You a real ass bitch give a fuck about a nigga, my guy? Pause. Pause. <laughs> pause. <laughs> Pause, dog. That's just real, though. And I don't, know, I don't know what it is about that, though. Like, cause, like, don't get me wrong. Like, like I said, like I listen to females all day. Like, I, I'm in a club with them. I gotta listen to their music. I like artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a, a, a biased person. But it's just, I ain't gonna lie. If I get to that red light, I might, you know, knock the volume down just a tad. It won't let me hold on. Chill. I don't want to hear how, how she ride the dick for nine hours. Hold on, pause, 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 pause. But like, like, and that's to me, that's a part of it. Like, how it's hard for y'all. Like, mm -hmm. I support y'all. You know what I'm saying? And I don't. I hate to say y'all like to make it like a subgroup or whatever. I support rappers in general. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's just, it's tough. It's tough on us, man. Y'all got y'all making it too hard. No, y'all just need to open up a little bit more. <laughs> y'all not used to it being so many women. Not used hey, that's to that's a fact. Cause even like when you say Eve, like it was like, damn, like how many we could count on our hands? Just how many her, we had? Charlie Baltimore yeah. around that era, like yeah. who else? I mean, besides Missy was Missy, still yeah. Besides you know, besides Missy, because Missy, Missy and Kim, like, yeah. Foxy had a little yeah. It was like stint. in and out spurts, yeah, but nobody was, like, was really having like nah, nobody was at the same time nah. either. Like, but do do you think that's do you think one that's game? Like not game, but industry, like driven. Um, and then like when I think I think it's half and half. I think organically, some women are just watching it and wanting to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other half is yeah, we need to get a woman. So let's you know that's hot right now. Let's because the like head. it seems like any time that there was like two, for the most part, popping women, they always were like at each other's heads. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like I always think about. 
when Kim and Foxy was in the game, it was like, oh, okay. That's one thing I, I, don't, I don't really care for either. Like Women on women beef? Yeah, and a lot of it is curated by the people listening Most to definitely. the music. It's never the women for real. Most definitely. And I, I, never, I don't really understand that. The media? The media get in your head. Well, when I, okay, let me not say I don't understand it. I don't really see how you guys could really like or, or artists could really fall into it without just picking up the phone and having a simple conversation. Like, without letting social media or every, other outlets on the outside, like, dictate what's happening. And neither one of y'all never even said y'all had a problem with each other. Like, yeah. But it's only with females. Like, females are always put up against each other. Like, Facts. just automatically. Like, Facts. That's a fact. Whatever. I, I never see that happen with men. When men in the industry have beef, it's beef. It, like, something that happened. Some of it might be play play, some of it might be set up, all of that, but it's a reason, like it's a plan behind it. They know no, what's going weird. on. Like with the females, it just be because they women. I think it's like, like, and especially in my mind, I think women are just naturally catty, so it's like you almost expect it. It's like, how you feel about, how you feel about Big Rennie, man? Fuck Big Rennie. You know, you're like, oh, okay, my bad. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's like naturally they ain't catty. like that, though. Oh. <laughs> Okay, Big Rennie in the motherfucking building. Y'all niggas stop talking crazy. Nah, but like, I just, I don't know what it is. That I don't know why it always feels like women just naturally clash. I think it's at just the for top. the entertainment aspect of I it. Can, I can imagine it. For Everybody sure. like a good girl fight. For sure, for sure. You got, you got your mans over here trying to get you. Thank you. You looking parched. <laughs> She's looking a little parched. So. Uh, we don't fall into none of that, though. <laughs> we, don't get, we don't get involved in none of that. No no beef? Mm -mm. You love everybody? I respect everybody and no what they do. No disc records, no nothing. I respect everybody and what they do. So if somebody come at you crazy, no disc records, no nothing? I ain't speaking for the future. Oh, okay. Oh, we just talking about right yeah, now. Yeah, we talking about right now. Okay, like, cool. I respect everybody and what they do. And I would never, like, take it there unless I had good reason to. Okay. Not off of social media or... Mm -hmm. The media, nah, it got to be like, I don't pick the phone up and try to figure out what's going on, and we ain't getting nowhere. Like, yeah. oh, this is what you want. Because if you, that's what you want, then we can go there. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all be expecting a motherfucking phone call because Big Rennie's calling and I'm she's calling. not playing no games. I'm picking the phone up. I'm calling. So let's, let's switch it up again. Um, How did this Wolfpack uh, situation come about? Um... Cause that's right. a big deal. Like we're not even gonna play like that's not big. Like we got we got a big ass chain. You know what I'm saying? Wolfpack got a, a, a bit of a roster. Uh -huh. So it's like you know, how did um, that come about? Well, I I knew P for a couple years before, and he never knew I did music. Okay. Um. So when I started like throwing little songs and stuff out, like Jack and Beats and stuff, mm -hmm. like he was like, "Why didn't tell me you did music?" Blah 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 or whatever. And he introduced me. So Wolfpack okay. or whatever, and he was like, you know, you they're gonna take care of you over here. Like I feel like this is a good situation for you. Like you just gotta get serious. Yeah. I like, I think you this is where you need to be at. You need to get serious though. So before I even met like the situation I'm in, and you know, mm. my CEO and my business partner and everything. Um, for a couple more weeks, like I had to show and prove. Like, even though I was meeting with other people and stuff, it just didn't feel right. It felt yeah. too industry, like too okay. like y'all don't give a fuck about me. Like mm -hmm. y'all just want to make some money off of me. Y'all want to see what's gonna happen, and if it don't happen how y'all want it, I, it's over yeah. with. I didn't want no situation like that. I wanted somebody who like I knew I still had a lot to learn. I knew like it's more to being an artist than jacking a beat and putting a one minute uh, twi style, Instagram yeah. video up. Yeah, so. And I felt like where I'm at, which I, my feeling was right, like my gut was right. Like mm. I'm, in, I'm in the best situation I could have ever been in. They took as much time with me as I needed to develop. Mm -hmm. And it's a wolf pack forever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How does it feel, though? Like, like I said, y'all got a roster over there. Like everybody over there is moving. And that's what's crazy to me because, like I said, like I've been talking with people about you. I think, um, I, think I look at the people who, like, my my family, my mm -hmm. I think I look at them and I just I don't feel like I'm a part of it, but not in like a negative way. Mm -hmm. Because I look at them and like you worked for that. That's what okay. you did. Like you you inspiring me to go get my own. Okay. So being that close to it and seeing what you could have and what you could do, like that's like the best thing for me. Like yeah. 
I need to be around. I need to feel that pressure. I need to see like you can't go out here and do this yet. You ain't did enough work for this yeah. yet. But I, I got somebody right here showing me like it can happen. And Facts. he we in the same we in the same exact situation. So if it happens yeah. for you, I know it can happen for me. Like Facts. that I feel like I benefit more from that. Okay. I benefit more from being around things that I don't have yet and seeing people do things that I haven't done yet mm-hmm. and knowing it's possible. Fucking wolf pack. So so what what is coming next? Like I know we well, got Well I'm already working on my next project. Uh-huh. So we just dropped Big Rennie and May. Okay. Um <clears throat> And it's going crazy, of course. <laughs> did I see and something like two million, some, some? What did I see? Like, oh, we hit like a million um, streams on Spotify okay. and Apple really quick. So, okay. you know, the next one is just we just want to keep building. That's okay. it. But the next one, you know, Big Rennie was like the introduction. Mm-hmm. We going next one. Like, all right, I warmed you up. Like, so what's, what do we? Don't be surprised by nothing you hear. What are, what are we? Uh, what are we calling the next one? Well, we don't really have a name yet, but I have a concept that I want to go with. I'm not uh-huh. gonna put it out because you know you have to, you have <sighs> to watch. You have to, I don't want to get. It's not a secret. I just can't be giving nobody else. I ain't mad. I ain't mad. I can dig that. Yeah, I can dig that. No, I can dig that. I can dig that. They run off with a trip. I can dig that. But it's dope. Okay. It, do we got a timeline on it? Like beginning of fall ish. Okay. I really I'm I, we aiming for October because mm-hmm. I really want to drop in October. That's my birthday. Mm-hmm. Then I feel like it's like OVO. a nice amount of time mm-hmm. between the first drop and you know we still putting out songs between that didn't make Big Rennie. Mm-hmm. Um, just to stay in their face. Like yeah. I just want to stay consistent. Like a lot of people don't know who I am. So if I just keep putting content out, keep yeah. standing in their face. Like by the end of the year, like if you haven't heard of me, you are gonna hear about me. You don't have to Facts. like me. Facts. But you're going to know about me. Facts. Next so, year, you'll like me. So, uh, what, we, what we got? Made too much. Is that on the project? It's not on the project. It's not on the project. This it is didn't one of those, make the project. It's just one of them flamers. Yeah. Talk about it a little bit. Uh, it's it's really simple. It's really catchy. Uh, we recorded it. We had put the track list together. Mm-hmm. And it was recorded. Maybe, like, I didn't know the track list was done yet. But we were still, like, in the studio working. I'm still, like, mm-hmm. thinking, like, I need to get some more songs to put on I mean, here. How many songs you made for the project? It I always hear some crazy numbers. No, it wasn't really a lot. I think it was just like maybe like four more songs that was made that didn't get put okay. on there, and the, okay. like that was one of them. Okay. Um, Cause if I like if I started a song like my way of recording, like sometimes I don't finish a whole song when mm-hmm. I started. So if I started a song and I didn't feel like it was nothing after that, I didn't focus on that. I went to go to something else. Yeah. Like, cause we working on a project, we yeah. not in here just Bullshit. making music. Yeah. So we working on something right now so that's how it was so we really didn't waste a lot of time with a lot of extra tracks <clears throat> and then being like i do all my work out here and you know yeah. i'm on the road a lot so whenever i'm in there i gotta make sure like yeah, I'm, all my done. work is counting yeah um but made too much like it was like we were in the studio doing the whoa like they were trying to teach me how to do the whoa <laughs> and uh, the beat came this is the, the beat was on mm-hmm. and that's what we were trying to do and i was like man this shit catchy like yeah. i can't do the whoa but <laughs> <laughs> but i can see like it turning into something like it was just catchy like smooth a vibe it was mm-hmm. like different from like popping shit how it was on the rest of the songs yeah and it, that's how it came out like all right Introduce this motherfucker. Let's get into it. This is Big Rennie, and y'all about to hear Made Too Much. Check, check. Chaotic Vibes Podcast. Big Rennie and this motherfucker made too much. Made things saying too much either. That shit, you know, you know what? One thing I wanted to ask you, like, where do you think your versatility comes from? Because you, you like, even on your cadences is different. You can get on different kinds of beats. Because some songs I'd be like, damn, she like from the Midwest or something. Like, why she rap like that? But then it's like, you come back and you, you know what I'm saying? You flip it. That was like some strip club bounce <laughs> shit right there. I fuck with that. I think it's just from listening to different music. Yeah. Um, since I've been younger, like, I'm mixed. So, like, my dad is white. My mom is black. Like, we, like... I go with my dad half of the summer. I'm home. Like, I mm-hmm. get a dose of, like, a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. So, I've always, you like, since I've been younger. You go to bed? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, like, I'm mixed, too, so I, I, that's, I have to deal with like that. Like, since I've been younger, though, like, I've always had, like, an eclectic kind of mm-hmm. ear. Like, okay. I could listen to almost anything and like it or find something to like about it. Mm-hmm. So, I kind of approach my music with that, like, 
some like let's do something different. Let's try to be like let's try to stand out. Let's let's try not to sound like everybody else. Or if it is something what everybody else is doing, let's put like our shit on the it. The big Rennie yeah. flip on it. I ain't mad yeah. at that. I ain't mad at that. So before we get you up out of here, I want to see if you got any shout outs you want to give to the world. To the world. To the world. Well, I, I'm gonna shout out God Most because definitely. you know without him I wouldn't be here. I'm gonna shout out the whole Wolf Pack and you know my business partner, my CEO for just believing in me and giving me the opportunity because. <laughs> big facts. Well, that that took a whole lot of pressure off of me. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> and a big um, fact. the people who support me, the fans, like without him. What, what, what do you have like name like? Yeah, that's the what, name they picked okay. was Ruchi Mafia. Ruchi Mafia. Yeah, okay. That, and that, they picked that name. I, I I actually like that. I, yeah, so that's I normally we, don't like what the girls. We call the mob over okay. here. Okay. I ain't mad. <laughs> Fucking Rucci Mafia. I'm Rucci digging Mafia, it. but... That shit, that shit almost sounds Italian, too. That's hard. Anything else? Anybody else? That's it. Like That's I, it. Everybody don't, who support me. They're going to get mad. They're going to they be in your comments. No, you ain't not. shout me out. If, you don't fuck If you like supported that. me, I'm shouting you out <laughs> in any type of way. I appreciate the love, and we're going to keep this thing going. We're going to get bigger and bigger. We're not stopping, and that's just what it is. I'm with that. Oh, you at uh, Streets Fest? Yeah. I see you there. I'm there. Yeah. Big dog Gucci shit. Gucci dropping in now. Ooh. <laughs> Big Rennie. All right, motherfuckers. We got Big Rennie in this motherfucker. I ain't calling you Rennie Rucci no more. I, it's Big, Big Rennie. Big Rennie. Did you heard? <laughs> you already know what time it is. Chaotic Vibes Podcast. IndioRadio.com. We signing off.